Morning guys. So today we are going for a four mile run, tricking out the truck, slinging some arrows on the bow, and then also having a massive chest day where we're just gonna show you guys how to build the chest. Kind of see it through the shirt. I'm, I'm pretty small, but you can, you can kind of see it, but yeah. Anyways, let's get into the video. So we're gonna go take these into the truck and get after it on the run. Um, I'm feeling my inner David Goggins. I'm getting a little fired up. When I get through these runs, I get these thoughts in my head and I like to share them with you guys. And I don't know why, I just, I love speaking it out. It makes me, I don't know, I feel like it could help somebody out there. Anyways, let's, let's just get into the run. Also, last video I showed you guys my dinner. Today I'm gonna show you guys my post-run but pre-workout meal. Um, and it's really important the way I structure it because it helps me perform and fuel both weight training and running. So, let's go hit this run. Legs are tired, mind is tired. But my mind is strong because I've been through this shit before. When you do hard shit, it makes things when it gets hard easier. For example, running a marathon taught me that I know no matter what, I can run 26.2 miles. Doing an Ironman taught me no matter what, I can swim. It's when you stack undeniable proof, you are who you say you are. That way, when you get into a hard situation, you say, wait a minute, I can do anything. I did this, that, I have a family, or I'm a great like person to other people. All that shit gives you undeniable proof to do whatever the fuck you want, as long as you say and back it up with the things that you do. So go out, do hard shit, and stack that undeniable, undeniable proof that you are who you say you are. And that'll keep your confidence high and you won't question shit. You'll be like, shit, I did this, that. Let's fucking do some more. Let's see what else we can do. And slowly that confidence builds and that hard times you come through, and I'll stand a chance because you build up that that mindset. So I'm wrapping up this run. Tired, but like I said, my mind's strong. By the way, these sick ass hybrid hats, if you want to be a weapon, they're dropping this month. I wanna say one last thing before I finish this run. It's not what you do one day. It's what you do over years, over months, over days. But that's what it's important to always take small wins. Like every day I wake up and run, this is a small win. It gives me momentum, it gives me confidence. To start something hard with the day, and win that get a small win and then that will encourage you to make other small wins throughout the day and small wins equal big wins so start small it's just like a domino effect you win once and it just keeps fucking going so yeah four miles in the bag now post run Job complete, sweat equity is on the hat. So we got the proof that we actually ran today because we got the sweat stains. But honestly, it's a competition for me. The fastest, I love hats that have sweat stains. And I love wearing them when I work out because it makes me feel badass. Even though I'm not, it just makes me feel that way. It's tough. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I had before. I'm gonna walk you through my day. So what I have in the morning when I wake up, I have electrolyte packet. This is the bum, um, C bums. Sodium uh, hydration electrolyte formula. So they made this actually for endurance. They're going into the endurance field. So they sent them to me first to try them um, because they know I train as a hybrid athlete and I love them and they're dropping next week. So if you haven't yet, go follow the raw page. You guys can use code French for 15% off and also all the vitamins I use. But raw is dropping these hydration fruit punch so anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i take as far as in the morning so i have chocolate greens 
we have fiber. Now I cannot recommend this to you guys enough. If you have trouble losing weight because you're hungry all the time, you need to updose your fiber updose. I don't even know what that means. You need to increase your fiber and take track it, whatever you have to do. I take revive fiber. Like I said, it tastes amazing. It tastes like chocolate milkshake when you mix it with the chocolate greens and the GI. I take it every morning because it keeps me satiated. Um, it, like I don't eat until 12, one o'clock because it keeps me not satiated. So increase your fiber. And then even with foods, eat some more fiber. Uh, at first your stomach might feel a little off, but over time your, your body will get used to it and will digest it better, but you'll be a lot, lot more satiated. Don't go crazy and eat a shit ton of fiber because you might expect it to go the opposite way and it might be bad news, but definitely take your fiber. It's gonna help you cut or stay shredded or lean, whatever. Um, it helps a ton. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I take in the morning before my run. I just want to show you guys that because I didn't show you guys that. So, yeah. What's up, guys? So back from our run today, I'm going to show you guys what I have, uh, you know, at 12 o'clock right now. It's 12 o'clock. It's almost 1 o'clock when I eat our protein fast. So I have my protein coffee already post-run. I'm going to show you guys what I have, though, between my post-run and my pre-workout meal. Um, this is a staple for me and something that helps satiate me. Um, high in fiber, high in protein, uh, moderate fat. So uh, right here we got some eggs, uh, pasture raised, fresh brown eggs. We have egg whites. I use fat-free cheese just to keep the caloric intake down. And then um, over here we have some carb mis mission balance wraps. So basically um, a lot of people wonder what fiber does. What fiber does is it fills up uh, your gut it makes you feel full. It's really good for um, your health as well. And um, these wraps are high in fiber. Now, as you see, it says 30 grams of carbs minus 25 grams of carbs because that's fiber. Your body can't digest insoluble fiber. So basically, it's like almost like free calories in a way. Um, it just passes right through your gut, but it also fills you up. So I get these carb balance wraps because it fills me up, keeps me satiated. And yeah, I'm going to mix this up and show you guys what I have to fuel my next workout chest day. So let's do it. All right, so I normally have 300 grams. The scale just turned off, but I have 300 grams of egg whites and then I'll take one egg, crack it, and this will be my fat source. Um, and I'll mix that up and that'll be what I throw into my um, eggs. This way I get a little bit of healthy fats from the egg um, and then the protein from the egg whites. Uh, but yeah, I filled the wrap up with this and I'll use some spinach as well just to give it some more volume and hit some micronutrients. Um, yeah. This product we have the egg whites, the fat free cheese, the spinach, two wraps, and then we have the fruit for the carb source. Um, really liking fruit to fuel my workout. So this is gonna be our pre-workout meal and before we rig out and show you guys the truck. All right, so right here we have the Hoyt Torx. This is the bow that I use. Um, it's not like the, the best one you can get, but it's a pretty good one. We have our five knocks on here for 30, 35, 40, or sorry, 20, 30, 35, 40, and then 50. Um, so right here we have our Cobra. This is our release. And yeah, this is a setup, so I'm gonna just get some video footage of me slinging some arrows. And yeah. Okay, I don't know what pin to use. So I just went and picked out my wheels for this truck and I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm so excited. It's going to look sick. We're turning into a monster truck. So let's get into it. Here we go. These are the hostile sprocket wheels. Um, and this is what they look like. They're 33 inch tires and then 20 inch rims and then the offsets negative 18s. But yeah. These are the wheels that we're going to throw on this bad boy and lift it. Here's the lift kit. Three and a half inch rough country lift kit. Um, and then we got our uh, lug nuts. And then we also have some spacers just in case like um, the brake 
on the front rubs this inside just to offset the wheel some more so yeah i'm going to be putting these on i can't wait to show you guys after we lift what's up guys i'm going to be walking you guys through a chest day so besides the point of shooting arrows and building out this truck i really want to show you guys what i'm doing for chest right now um to build like the upper shelf so what i'm focusing on right now is just incline bench um, a lot of people like to make this chest day and weightlifting difficult these days now i believe just going heavy on your first movement is essential to building strength and strength is going to have strong muscles equal big muscles so i always train heavy at first so as you can see i'm pushing 225 for as many reps as possible feeling a little weak lately just because i think i've been running a lot and um not really eating enough around my workouts, which I need to improve on. Um, but overall, like these, these are hundred pound dumbbells. And normally like I could rip these, but um, after the compound lift, they felt pretty heavy. But as you can see, I still work out the same regardless how I feel. Um, I keep my first two exercises pretty heavy the most part. And then as I get into the workout, I focus more on volume than intensity. So right now we're still pushing intensity um, hundreds for about eight, to 10 um, just really focusing on getting that stretch as you can see like my shoulders are still getting some contractions there and my chest upper chest still uh, with the angle of where those dumbbells come down then here i'm focused on hypertrophy i've been on a lot of fly movements lately but watch these flies so start high this is how i hit all angles of this chest i start high right and then progressively i'll just keep decreasing this means i'm just hitting new fibers every time i go to for like a uh, fly and I think this just really helps dial in um, like the hypertrophy of the chest because you're not missing any gray area so start high and go low and this just I think helps me um, really grow my chest because I'm really learning how to squeeze all parts of my chest by not just focusing on one movement because when you go do these machines or cables a lot of people just keep it the same well if you keep it the same those fibers are going to be the ones that you always tear and you know the whole point of lifting and and you know, building muscles to break and grow new fibers. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Um, like again, start out up top, squeeze, and I'll go down a little up top again. I'm just always keeping the body guessing. Wherever I feel like I I don't do it much, I focus more on that area until I get sore. I'll move down again, right here. A little sore, moving down again. Um, I'll wait till this gets pretty hard, and then I'll drop down again and really fatigue those fibers. So I think this this exercise alone is probably my favorite in in part to building hypertrophy um as you get I'm, I'm in a lot of pain here just trying to push this but um this is how i train you got to train till failure i don't think oh they say well this is optimal now what's optimal is training till failure that's how the muscles grow um and then finished up my workout with these chest flies so i think flies are the best for hypertrophy and they i've noticed the most chest development from um, so I did two push movements, um, compound lifts, and then I finished up with flies. So now it's time to build out the truck. And this is what it looks like before, so This yeah. is the look at the new truck. It's the next day. I was so tired. Um, but yeah, this is what the truck looks like after we put the lift kit and wheels on it and completely modded out the truck, tinted, tinted the windows, and now finally done with it. And uh, I'm super excited to be able to drive it around now. And uh, yeah, it's something I worked really hard for. I was, you know, blew up, grew up um, working like blue collar and for my family business and driving diesels and, and trucks. And I have my CDL. So like, this is just something that makes me happy in a way. Not like saying that buying things make you happy, but something that reminds me of my childhood that, you know, I had always wanted to do. Um, and it was something I could afford. So for me, it just, you know, one of the things that I always kind of wanted to do. So bought a diesel truck. I plan to have it for a long time. I love diesels because they hold their value. They hold their mileage. They're good for like a lot of power and a lot of miles on the engine, especially the Duramaxes. So yeah, I'm just super, super excited and thankful to be able to do something like this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that and kind of give you guys like a background of you know why I bought that truck, but um, makes me happy when I drive it. A lot of power and uh, diesel build. Like I try to be like when I run, I imagine myself like building the engine, building the body, similar to that. Like 
hitting the weights like you're putting a lift kit on your body you're putting big tires on it and then you're running down the trail like fueling it with good food uh, that's where I get the diesel build for um, and I plan to have the shirts coming out soon uh, but first bad day to be miles are coming but I just wanted to say yeah that's why I like the truck that's why I like what I do that's why I say what I say and um, yeah just wanted to have that make a video out of this because I don't know even though this isn't probably going to do the best I just you know want to show you guys my personality and who I am and take you guys on a vlog so with that being said I hope you guys like the video like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed, drop video suggestions that you guys want. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.